In this video, we will tackle the uh, authentication process. So uh, the user will be able to click this button and log in with MetaMask. So let's go ahead and do that. Go to the state folder under source, create a new file and let's call it signer.tsx. I want the signer or the Ethereum account to be accessible to all uh, this application's components. So for that, I'm gonna use a React context. So create a new context. So um, let's call it signer context. And let's um, write an interface for the value of, of this context. So type signer context type so we will need the signer it's going to be of type json rpc signer we will need an address so address the address of the account it's going to be of type string we will need a function that uh, actually signs in with the wallet so connect wallet um, it's going to return a promise void and we will maybe need a loaded state um, of type boolean to indicate if the user is currently uh, signing in so we can display some kind of um, loading indicator. Um, so this signer context is going to be of type uh, signer context type. And we can just do this as any, just to satisfy uh, TypeScript here. Uh, let's go ahead and create a convenience hook to use this context. So we'll do const signer or use signer equals uh, use context signer context. So instead of uh, writing this every time, we can just write use signer uh, in our components. Now let's create the signer provider uh, component that will provide uh, this context to all the children. So let's do const signer provider and it's going to return Signer contacts.provider. Let's leave the value empty for now. And it's going to take children. So let's do this children of type React node and use them here. We will need uh, some state variables for the signer, the address, and the loading state. Let's go ahead and create them. So const signer set signer equals use state uh, of type JSON RPC signer. We're gonna need an address too. It's gonna be of type string, and we will need a load in state so load in set load in equals use state it's gonna default to false and for the connect wallet let's create a function so const connect wallet equals uh, we're gonna leave it empty for now so these are the values of, of this context here so let's pass them uh, choose a provider. Let's create a context value um, variable here. It's going to have the signer, the address, and the loading state, and the connect wallet function. And we can pass the context value here. Uh, it complains. Uh, so the signer and the address will be undefined if the user did not 
log in with the with their wallet so let's make them uh, optional here and this should solve this problem let's export this because we're going to use it elsewhere so export signer provider and let's also export default the use signer hook now go to the pages underscore app.tsx and here we're gonna wrap uh, our the whole application in the signer provider so we can uh, provide the signer to all the components so signer provider here should do the trick now let's go to components connect button which is this button here and as you can see, I'm currently hard coding the address, the loading state, and the connect wallet function. So let's remove that and uh, instead grab it from the signer context. So let's do um, use signer and let's grab the address, the loading state, and the connect wallet. So the on click of this button here is the connect wallet so when we click on the button this should be called so let's uh, make sure this works here so console.log connect wallet open the dev tools click on the button and it should say connect wallet here so uh, what I just did here was all react stuff i didn't touch any web3 so let's uh now write some web3 logic connect wallet should um open metamask and let the user sign in with their account to do that i'm going to use the web3 model library um with ethers so let's do web3 model equals new web3 model and uh, for some reason it does not auto import so let's import it manually now let's connect so await web3model.connect and it's going to return an instance now we're going to use a web3 provider from ether so do provider equals new web3 provider should be also imported from here uh, passing in the instance now we can get the signer from this provider so just do signer equals provider dot get signer and we can get the address um, using await signer dot get address now let's save these um, signer and address variables in the state. So set signer, signer, and set address, address. Now we should probably wrap everything inside a try catch um, to avoid the app from crashing. If something wrong happened. We should also set the loading state to true when everything here begins and set it back to false when everything uh, finishes. And the reason why we have an address uh, state, even though we can easily get it from uh, the signer, is because I don't want to deal with promises. So the get address returns a promise, not a string. So every time I want to use the address, I have to call await signer.get address and it's not very convenient so I'm just gonna do it once and just set it in the state and reuse it every time now theoretically the connect button should open metamask now so let's try it and as you can see the button says busy and it's disabled uh, that's because if the loading is variable is true then the button is disabled and if it's true we display busy instead of connect wallet now metamask did not pop up but we see this um, notification badge here so we should uh, manually click it and enter our password
and then we will be connected with our Ethereum account. Now I already connected my dev account to localhost, so if this is your first time doing this, it's gonna look a little different, I believe, but uh, everything should work regardless. And as you can see, the connect button disappeared, and instead we have a black keys here and the address of your account. Um, so if you look at the connect button, uh, if the address is is defined, then we do not return the button, we return the address avatar. The address avatar is just a black keys, uh, which is a represent graphical representation of your address. And then uh, the actual address here. So there's one thing left. If we refresh the page, uh, we will be logged out and we will have to click connect wallet again. Even though MetaMask did not open or anything, we just auto-connect it. So we would like to auto-connect if the page reloads without having to click the button. So let's go back to signer.tsx. First, let's add cache provider true to this line here. And let's add the use effect hook. This hook will run once when the component mounts. Uh, let's do the same thing here. Let's instantiate a Web3 model. We don't need to pass in this parameter. And let's check if Web3 model that cache provider is true. If it is, then we're gonna call a connect wallet. And it should do the same uh, logic without us clicking the button. So let's refresh the page and we are auto-connected.